hello everyone and welcome back to our channel so in this video we will understand how to create and deploy unmanaged package in salesforce so in this video we will cover why we need to create packages then what is unmanaged package in salesforce after that i will take a scenario and using that scenario i will show you how to create and upload package in salesforce and after that we will see how to deploy that created package in different salesforce org so stay with us watch the video till end and don't miss any step after that you can also create package in salesforce and deploy to different salesforce org and if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update so first we will see why we need to create package in salesforce the answer is after creating any application in salesforce and we want to deploy that application from one salesforce org to another then first we need to create package and that package we can deploy to the different salesforce org now let's see what is unmanaged package in salesforce the unmanaged packages in salesforce is a container that binds and distribute the open source components the open source components such as custom apps custom objects fields apex classes visual force pages and etc then it is used to share a solution or application that the receiver salesforce org user can customize after that it is editable after installation to different salesforce org that means it allows organization to customize the installed package as per their requirements then the unmanaged package cannot be upgraded that means once installed unmanaged package in the other org cannot be upgraded if they want to new changes from the provider then the updated package must be installed separately now let's take a scenario and using this scenario i will show you how to create unmanaged package and deploy to the different salesforce org so we have created a flow that automate the process of sending an email with dynamically added cc recipients when the user applies for the leave now first let me show you this flow scenario for that jump to the salesforce org so first i am logging with the org where i created the flow so here i have created one custom application leave approval and in this application i have created employees cc email list and apply leaves objects so let me open this apply leaves object now whenever any employee apply for the leave the email should be sent to the manager and the cc recipient whom you added in this cc recipient email list so let me show you the flow in the quick find box search for the flows so this is our flow add cc list how to create flow where we can add dynamically cc recipient the video link i have given in description box you can go through it after that you can also add the dynamic cc recipient in the flow now when we want to send this flow to the different salesforce org we must need to send this leave approval application because we have used this object field to that flow now let me show you login with different account so here i am logging out so here i am logging with different account if i search here for leave approval here you can see we don't have that application let's check the flow and here also we don't have that flow now let's create package and deploy that package to this salesforce org for that i need to log out with this account to create the unmanaged package in the quick find box search for the packages here i am searching package then under the packaging option here you can see install packages package manager and then package users so here we need to select package manager then to create a package scroll down and here you can see here i already created some package to create new package here you can see here we have new button click on it enter the package name so here i am entering flow with unmanaged package then you can select language as per your requirement and then click on save now our package has been successfully created 
Now we need to add the components that we want to send with this package to the different Salesforce org. Scroll down. For that in the components we need to click on add button. And here you can see in the component type we have app. Here you will see all the custom application that you created. So in the app here I am selecting leave approval and then click on add to package. Then as you scroll down here you can see all the object which related of that application get added to this package. Now we also want to send flow to different salesforce org. For that again here you can see we have add button click on it. Then in the component type we need to search for the flow definition. As you scroll down here you can see here we have flow definition click on it and then here you will see all the flow that you created. So here I have created add CC list flow. To select this flow click this checkbox and then click on add to package. Now if you don't add the app and the objects and only send the flow and after that the other organization install that package, the package will successfully get installed but the flow will throw error. Because the fields we added in this flow they will don't have that fields. For that we have added the app and the objects. Now we need to upload this package for that here you can see here we have upload button click on it. Now here we need to provide version name so here I am entering dynamic flow. You can enter any name as per your requirement. Then the version number you can leave as it is or you can also change the version number. Then in the unmanaged packages there no need to add URL and if you want to add URL you can click here and then here we need to provide URL so that when the other org user open that URL they will see the release note of this particular package. So here I am selecting none and same for the post install instruction then the description is optional. After that here we have password the password is also optional. If you don't provide any password for this package anyone can install this package if they have salesforce account. And if you provide any password to this package then to install this package to the different salesforce org they need to enter password that we provided. After that in the package requirement we need to check checkboxes which objects required to send. So here scroll down. So here you can see object requirement scroll down. You will see the object that you added in the application at last. Now here we have employee apply leaves and then cc email list. So here I am selecting this one and then click on upload. Now the package is uploading. And now the unmanaged package that we created has been successfully uploaded. After uploading the package here you can see here we got an installation URL. So here we need to copy this URL. Here I am copying this. I am pasting here because I need this URL. Now you need to send this URL to the organization where you want to deploy this package. So here first I need to log out with this account. And now I am logging with different account. So in this account we have seen we don't have any leave approval app or the flow that we created. Now open another tab and here I will paste the copied URL. So again we need to log in. Now here you can see install flow with unmanaged package. The package name that we provided. Then what if existing component names conflict with one in this package. That means the component we are going to install if that component that means the application or the object if you already have in this organization then we have two options do not install or rename the conflicting components in package. So the component that we added we don't have in this org. So here I am selecting do not install. Then here we need to select who can access that package. Install for admins only then install for all users and then install for specific profiles. So here I want to install only for admins and then click on install. So while installing you can see the view components. Here you can click on view components. 
Now here you can see the components that we will get from this package. And now installation is complete. After that we need to click on done. And now in the install package here you can see here we have a package flow with unmanage package. Now let's see the package components get added to our salesforce org or not. For that in the app launcher here I am searching for leave. And now here you can see we have leave approval app has been successfully added our salesforce org. So here I am opening this app. And now here you can see we also get the objects that we added in the package. So let's check the flow. For that go to the setup. Search for the flows. And here you can see add to CC. So in this way we can create, upload and deploy unmanaged package in Salesforce org. If you like the video hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update. Thank you.